Code Monkey here. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how to use input text in Phaser 3. And I'm going to share with you the principle behind this and also some code that I wrote for a virtual world that I had to make a few years back that I've refined over the last three years that will make it simpler for you. So let's get started. Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. So it seems that sooner or later, every programmer needs to put a text input box into their game. And there's no built-in way in Phaser of doing that. There was a plugin that was available for Phaser 2, but it didn't get ported over to 3. But what that plugin was doing, and the way I'm going to show you how to do it now, is simply to overlay an HTML text field on top of your Phaser game. So if we start in our index HTML. I'm going to add an input type text. We'll give it a name of username, and we give it an ID of uText. So here it is down here. We've got our input box. Now all we need to do is put it in the middle of our screen and not pushing our canvas to the side. I'm going to go over here into the developer console. I'm going to say v equals document, get element by ID, uText, and then we're going to play with that style, v style, position equals absolute, and that is a string. And now it doesn't push out our canvas anymore. V style top equals 100 pixels. And then we would just need to keep playing around with this until we got it into the middle of our screen. Now, of course, once we change the size of our screen, if we put it on mobile, for example, then that's going to mess up the direct positioning of like 100 pixels, 200 pixels and such. You need to be able to place it by percentage and a percentage of your screen. But that is basically how you do it, and it will only work if you're using a canvas that is in the middle of the screen and maybe on a pop-up or on mobile or something. If you put this in the middle of a web page, unless you're doing it from an iframe, it's not going to work because it needs to have the canvas up here at zero, zero. Now, I have been playing around with this, and I came up with a class that is included in the Ultimate Games Part template. And if you've been using that at all, you know that everything is done on a grid system. And this grid is used for placing game objects. But there's something else that is built in called a form utility. And it works like this. This form util equals new form util scene. This rows 11, columns 11. And I've turned off the numbers here on the grid, but the form utility has its own internal grid. So let's put that text input field at number 60. This form util, place element at, index number 60, the element name, which is a string, which in this case is uText. And it doesn't push out our screen anymore, but it's not putting it over here at number 60. And that's because the element here, let me grab it again, v width. According to the browser, we have a width of zero. And if we try to set a width that is static, it won't match up with the screen because we need to scale everything by percentage. So before you place the element, this form util, scale to game width, view text, and let's make it like 40%, 0.4, of the width of the game. Great. Now we do have this bit at the start where it's pushing that out while it's loading. We can simply turn that off in the index HTML, style, display, none. And then over in the create function here, after we've placed it, this form util, show element, uText. And there it is. Does it push the game out? And it loads just fine in the middle of the screen. And if you need to get the value, there's another function in form utility, get text value. You pass in uText to that, say like after a button press, and then you'll be able to get the value of the username that's put into there. 
I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much for watching. You can get a copy of this template over at phasergames.com. Any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks very much.